What's up guys? This is Tuna Rose first vlog for Tuna Galleria 2023 Chicago. It is loud, so I don't know if you can hear me. If you can't hear me, enjoy the views. <laughs> if you can't hear me, you can listen to my commentary. I'll start off with my car. I'm gonna go over Tuna Galleria real quick and what I think of these cars. My car, I'm hoping to win best Nissan. If there's a best performance, uh, I hope I can win that too. My engine bay is the cleanest, but my car gets down and boogies. So we'll see what happens. I got the I got my helmet in there, got my harness in there. Uh, yeah, it's looking good. Got my little turbo air freshener, a little warning sign. You know, there's no seatbelt on this side. Next to me is the R8. It's the Duke's R8 with Team IC. I'm rubbing Team IC today. You can see it on my car too. NSX, some beautiful cars. The details on this Mustang is beautiful. I feel bad for these judges. These judges are gonna have a hard time judging these cars. There's a lot of nice cars here. I can appreciate all the cars here because you can tell the amount of time. You know, obviously McLaren, Mrs. Steve Hamilton is obviously still really nice, right? But when you compare it to a car like this, you know the amount of work and effort it was put into this car to make it this clean. The paint job, the fitment of the wide body kit, the wheels, the engine, the tidying all the wires, making it look this clean. You gotta appreciate the detail, the time, the money, everything that goes into these cars. Obviously, you got Johnny's cars here, so you can go with Johnny's car. I think he'll, he should win best Honda. He's got a good all around. He's got the, obviously, probably the fastest, definitely the fastest Honda here. It looks awesome. The attention to detail that Johnny puts in his car. I mean, his his cage is ready to perform like actual events. You know, it's not like me when I just have a roll bar. The amount of detail, the amount of time, the amount of money that went into this car. I would definitely, if, it was, if I was a judge, this would get the best Honda here just because I know the amount of work that was put into this car. Such a beautiful build. <laughs> G8, another sexy car. I know this thing's about to put in work this season. There's like a Holden Award. I think this is going to win like the Holden G8 Pontiac Award. This Honda. I'm gonna show you my favorite Honda here before I go anywhere. This EK, I love EKs. I had an EG, I know everyone likes EGs better. For some reason, I always like the EK better. Look at the detail on this car. This is probably the cleanest EK I've ever seen in my life. Everyone's definition of clean is different, but just the way the build is. Now, I'm not gonna lie, I do wish I had a turbo. Maybe I will drive swap, but look at that. That is sick. I can't even see the damn wire for the fan. The cooling fan, where the hell is the wire? Good detail, attention to detail right there. Beautiful car. Let's go over here. Oh, you got one of those older 8 series. That's clean. Pussy. Oh, I get it, pussy. <laughs> I didn't know that meant. I get it now, that's pretty clever. That's clever, that's clever. See ya, SI. You gotta love it. Ooh, 911, these are my favorite. When I was, I was growing up back in like 2010, 29, 2009, this is what my dream car right here. Beautiful car. You got a little track up here, probably. R32 GTR. Around. 
there's like a whole team over here. Uh, what's going on here? You got some eight sixes. Ooh, it's eight six, eight five. What is it? It's eight six. Oh my god. Obviously, everyone's. If you grew up in the '90s, early 2000s. You know, everyone won the eight six because of Takumi Fujiwara. Beautiful eight six. Such such nice cars here, man. I can appreciate all these cars. And obviously, me, I'm at the point where I'm just like, yeah, you know, GTRs. I gotta be not the, the fastest because the fastest makes my car not a street car but one of the fastest street cars around i gotta go fast gtr yada 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 but realistically when it comes down to it right gtr you need money to play i don't give a crap how good you're at working on cars you need money to own that car you know the cars like i mean the supra you kind of do with money still but these hondas and these other cars is how beautiful people make these cars with just this is a freaking honda accord you know it's a normal honda accord but you got Looks like a freaking Rolls Royce in here. Beautiful. So the attention to detail people put on their cars is amazing. You know, I wish I had the patience for that at the time. Man, look at the interior on this. This is something that I could never do. I would definitely give my car to someone else and just have it done. That's why the wrap I bought my car with is still the same. What is this thing? I don't know what the hell this car is. It looks nutty. This is a Pontiac holder? Oh, my God. Sexy cars here, man. It's a little, a little less quieter here, so might be able to listen to me a little bit more. The Chevy Cruze, oh. ooh, R32. Look at the model. Please don't touch. I can respect that. I can respect that. Oh, that's sick. A little JDM Sun. What is it called? The Sunrise thing. This thing is clean. This thing is clean. I don't know if it's a GTR, GTS, GTSD, whatever, GTT, whatever it is, it's dope. Ha, <laughs> Smokey, they got a... I think he passed away. Rest in peace, Smokey, he passed away. If he's still alive, what a legend. I forgot. I forgot if he's still alive or he passed away. I'll never forget Smokey's uh, super video, though, when he ran away from the cops in London or something. Dope. Look at that. The detail, man. The detail. I don't even know where to start if I wanted to build something like this. Detail. Ooh, Z32. I love the Z32. Love Z32. Oh, it's right hand drive too. I just saw my bucket list of owning one of these. 92. Is it a fair lady? Oh, it's a fair lady as well. Wow. That's it. There it is. Woo! Yeah, this reminds me of the game. Uh, with not initial D, but the other one, Midnight Club Racing, or a oh, Maximum Tune. Is that one of these in Maximum Tune? I used to, I used to rock one of those. Of course, a nice little Ford. Where the hell is this thing? Ford what? I don't even know what the hell this thing is. Ranger, oh what? They got the new Ranger out here? Okay. This thing is dope. A little Blazer. Ooh, a Prelude. We got a Prelude. My, my, my upbringing. Beautiful. I still have a Prelude. Funny fact is I bought, oh, my bad. Uh, I bought a Prelude. A night, uh, I have a Ford Gen. My first car, I actually bought another one almost identical to my, mine. So I always respect the Prelude. The Audi. Audis, man, they're nuts. I'm like on the fence of like, do I like them? Do I hate them? Of course I like them. Do I want to own one? I don't know, because they're so fast. They're so awesome. But I know once you own one, there's going to be a lot of crap you got to deal with. So all these are obvious at the end of the day, but this is on bags. You know how to put light, the little touch. Ooh, we got some carbon fiber. Is that a carbon fiber bucket seat? Is that a factory option? Maybe it's like an RS something. That's dope. I don't know. Put it in the comments below. Is that S5? What is it? I didn't even know S5s came with carbon fiber like bucket looking seats like that. Oh my god. That is freaking hilarious. This is a 5 series, probably like a 540i, if I had to guess. Yeah, because it's got a B58. If you guys don't know the joke, Toyota Supras obviously have the B58 in them. So this guy put a freaking Toyota Supra uh, cover on his freaking BMW B58. That is hilarious. I got a friend with the B58. I'm taking a picture of that. I got to show it to him. That is hilarious. It's unique. Wow, the interior is nice on this thing. This might be a 7th one as a 5 series. I saw it. Oh, wait, is 
7 Series? 540, no? Wow. My boy's looking dope. Mercedes. There's a bunch of beautiful cars over there. I'm still watching the video, I mean. Yeah, I wish I could own them all, you know? But it gets hard to keep track. The Tudor Galleria 2023 Chicago. Definitely worth coming to. I, I didn't come to it last year. I was really upset. Uh, this is what I live for, man. Shows like this, we just got such unique cars. A little bit of everything. A little bit of everything. And I'm glad, you know, I got the little drag. I got the drag spec here. There is some drag. Let me go back by my car. You can see some of the drag cars here. There's some other drag spec cars out here. Oh, one of those Subarus. These things are rare. I know that. Oh, I love the window on here. Let's see. By the way guys, put it in the comments below if you guys know something about these cars, there's some unique facts, maybe you own one. I want to learn more about different type of cars. All I really know is these days are like a little bit of Hondas, obviously my Nissan GTRs, the Supras. I know this is a K-Swap, I can tell you that just by the way that the oil dipstick and the oil cap, the placement of that, I always know it's a K-Swap. That's always what I look for. And then the flip manifold, so usually like the other cars, like the H22s and they have the manifold in the back, headers in the front. This is actually more efficient because it's easier to get the exhaust out. And we got to wrap it right under the oil pan. So, oh, sorry. This car right here, I the wrap job on this thing is so clean. I thought it was a factory color. I really had to, well, I didn't look under the hood. I came over here and I was like, what color is this car? And I saw it was white. But man, the job on this car looks like a factory color. I love these pastel colors. You know, my Sequoia is a that lunar rock pastel color uh my brother's hurricane is that pastel orange i got a bunch of people with pastel color cars i love it this looks this looks so pull off of factory color doing such a good job with this wrap beautiful car a little too small for me if i didn't have a kid I'm, i might have rocked it but now i'm kind of got a little stomach on me now so i gotta probably stay away from the small cars it's like a Soar or uh, an Altauza, I forgot which one exactly it might be. Uh, Torer. I thought it was a Soar. A Chaser. Right? Chaser. Chaser your dreams. 240 is an S14. Uh, I forgot what front end you call it. Before I bought my S13, I really, really, really wanted the S14. It was just so pricey. I couldn't find a nice one. Uh, but S13 hatch is what, what I have, and that was always my dream drift car. So S2K is the AP1 or AP2. I don't know. It's been a while since I've had a S2K. So let's see if I can. How smart I am. I know by using by looking at the tail lights in the interior. So the tail lights is the AP1. The AP2 has three three circles. The AP, uh, the AP1 has two circles. The AP2 has well, AP1 has two, AP2 has three. There you go. And then another way to check is the red line on the dash. And you got a uh, 9K RPM red line like this car does. AP1 and AP2 has 8K red line. Uh, because the AP1s are a 2.0, they revved up a little higher, but they have some valve guide issues. So I know a little bit about these because I, I had one which I sold to my brother-in-law. We're about to turbo it on the factory block, so let's see how good that car holds up. But yeah. Got a little BRZ FRS lineup, Subaru lineup on bags. Nice lights, it's a nice color too. Again, not my cup of tea, I would never do that to a car, but I definitely damn appreciate it, and I definitely love the way they look. And if someone offered me one, I wouldn't say no. If I got a good deal on one, hell yeah, I'd rock this. I think it's a cool attention getter and like a badass car to just drive around and enjoy. I've seen this car around a lot. Uh, I always know this car by the guy who owns it. He's like all blinged out. Cool looking dude. I'm like, man, this guy looks awesome. This car is, gonna, this car is awesome too. Beautiful car. Right there, that's the guy. Mustang. So I'm gonna go over. I think I would only wanna look on this roll. Wait, before I go over, sorry. You gotta come see the Civics. B16, B18, what is this? B16. See, I kind of know my Hondas, kind of. Beautiful. I don't know what happened over there. Oh, 
S13 hatch. Let's go. That's what I got, baby. It's a 91. I think mine's a 92 or 90. We got beautiful. Can't wait to build mine out. Yada. Okay, cool. New Supras. Definitely one. I'm, I want one of these. It's on my bucket list. I got a few more minutes. So let me finish up on this side. Even if no one watches this vlog, I feel like it'd be cool for just me and my memories. Because my memory's kind of going away, I'm old now. <laughs> see my C. Right next to my GTR. Oh, if you've never seen my GTR before, you gotta see the back end. The back end is my third part of my car. I got the parachute. GTR 35 plates. I love my car. I'm a little uh, say. Thank God. This must take nice on some Billy specialties. It's gonna get loud here again, so I might do less talking, more showing. We also got the parachute shroud. I like this. I might get this one for my car. This is live. Oh, you got the pin in there, though. You got the pin in there just in case someone pulls it. Oh, y'all, there he is. There's a lever for the parachute. Oh, pro charge. Oh, pro charge down there. So right there, that handle my, on my GTR is actually on the roof, but that's how you pull the parachute. It looks like you push that one up. It looks like, yeah, you push it up and uh, it pulls this pin out and releases the parachute. But this guy has a safety ribbon on there. So in case someone actually pulls it, the parachute won't deploy. Oh, this green Mustang sexy. Oh my God. Because you know I can't hear because it's so loud on the other side. What the hell is this? An I8? 2015 I8? 
I like the white, the white lettering on the wheels. So, uh, ooh, wow, I did not know the IAs were this nice inside. Dang, that looks sick. I always thought they were really small cars, but it's huge in here. Wow. Okay, I might have to check out an i8. TRX, it looks like. Definitely a Ram TRX, 6.2 supercharged. That is a TRX. I actually almost bought one of these when I, was, when I got the Sequoia. I just couldn't justify it because one, it was expensive. Two, the gas mileage was crappy. Three, the tow capacity was low. So I ended up getting a Sequoia with the, it was cheaper and then hopes to get a diesel truck eventually. Here. Oh, that's why I use jacks then. How are you doing, sir? That's funny. Was that on ID? Cool little setup. Whoa, there's a Corvette section here. Two yeah. Corvettes. Yeah. All Dope. Put a little bit of JDM into a Corvette. Respect the build. Ooh, I believe that's a Mexican flag. That's kind of dope. It's got his build list right over there. Really cool, really cool. Oh, what we got here? C8. The C8s come with no way. They don't come with Lambo doors. That's not. No way. I, would I feel like I would know about this if they came with doors like this. This has got to be aftermarket. Oh, yeah, it definitely yeah, yeah. is. You can see the block off plate on the bottom. There's no way a C8 comes like that. Yeah, as a matter of fact, I need C7s. Come all these cars that have aftermarket kits on there. I'm not there. I'm not going to lie. It kind of looks dope on a Corvette with the Lambo doors. That's really sick. Really sick. I tell my friend, my friend has one of these Z06s. I'm like, yo, you gotta do this in your car. If he does it, I'm gonna make fun of him for the rest of his life because he's not cool with just normal doors. Well, here's a weird, this is a funny part. This is a Lamborghini Huracan. And the Huracan doesn't come with Lambo doors. But they changed that and they had the Lambo doors in the Huracan. Which I can respect. I mean, if you're gonna put Lambo doors on anything, it's a Lambo, why not? Get off my tail, rip and dip. 420, that's funny. That's funny, 420 blaze up. No, we don't do that, but. Oh wow, that's why it says 420. Yeah, I understand 420. Oh, that little duck thing again. Alright, that's sick. A lot more cars here. We finish off this section. I'm gonna go take a TikTok of that damn duck. <laughs> I feel like that duck will give me some views potentially. More 86s, 85s. This might be in I don't know what this is. It's either an 8.5 or an 8.6. Oh my god, they had a whole RC track here. I did not know that. Oh, this is beautiful. Some some drag radios. Some M&H drag radios, which I use on my GTR often. This would be like a 3-speed. Maybe on a TH400, I don't know. It doesn't say anything here. Beautiful paint job. It's one of those Toyota Chasers, is that what this is? Oh, Mazda, it's an RX-7, so... Is it next to it a Toyota Chaser? No, no. The Toyota Chasers are a hatchback. This is a Toyota Chaser. Or not Chaser, I forgot what these call them. Toyota... The Corolla... The small Toyotas that everyone makes a drag car that are nuts. I forgot what they call those things. Oh, these cars are sick. Oh my god, I still want one of these. Civic SI 99. I'm gonna check out this track. That's it. Oh, you little accident there. Got a whole zip course here. Oh, I need to pick this up. Yeah, I need to take the 
guys or something. Oh, you got your two spun out. Oh, tandem. Oh, he's the wall. He's still good though, he's good, he's good. 236. That's 13 catch. On the yard. Oh, he's that's cool. NSX, beautiful. Another one I want to add to the collection. Uh, I feel like if I had to pick between, there's three 90s cars, which is the NSX, the Z32, 300ZX, and the uh, FD RX7. Those are the three on my bucket list. If I feel like I had to put one first, it would be the FD RX7 for some reason. I just really, really, really want one. The Z32, I could have owned a few times. They just went turbo models or non turbo models, so I never pulled the trigger. But <laughs> the NSX was always out of my budget and hard for me to justify because the NSX is cool, but I don't like the motor on it. I think it's too slow. But it's an exotic car for sure. I think the NSX is exotic out of all of all those four Supra, NS, Supra NSX, FD, RX7, and the Z32. I feel like the NSX is the most exotic one. This is a sick Evo. It looks like the one from Too Fast and Furious. AMS build 4063. Definitely got to upgrade turbo on there, most likely. Uh, it's got the titanium bolts holding onto the manifold. Might be like an FP or something. Let's see. FP black, FP red. Got cams. This thing is beautiful. Got a wide body on there. Got to watch out. I'm going to step on a clip. I don't want to do that. Beautiful car is here. So that's pretty much all of Tuner Galleria. I know I missed out on a few things, but I don't want to make this video longer than 30 minutes. Uh, subscribe to the channel, guys. This year, we're going to be coming out with a lot more vlogs and car shows. So you can live vicariously through me. I hope I use the right word and not an offensive word, but I think that's the word, right? Live vicariously through me. So yeah. Wow. Wow. ago but again make sure to like and subscribe to the channel like the video subscribe to the channel talk to a few people before i leave my car's looking pretty over here hoping to win an award guys tiktok tuna world instagram tuna world underscore check out team ic i don't know what their socials are they just put a sticker here after the show they're gonna move to the back because i hate driving with stickers in front of me bothers me for some reason. What if it wasn't my car and I'm like just telling you you're sitting someone else's car? Huh? Yeah, I'm gonna show you how to put the harness on. Sit in my car. Just come and say hi to me. Get a see ya. Peace.